Hello and welcome to a new series of videos about using network switches in Dante-based audio systems. I'm Andy Cooper from Yamaha's European Research and Development Team. In these seven videos, you're going to learn how to choose the best switch or switches for your system. How to design a network to carry not just audio, but other types of data using facilities like VLANs, trunks, and link aggregation. You'll learn how to monitor your network and keep it safe using redundancy and security techniques, and how Yamaha switches will save you time when setting up and troubleshooting your network. So, in a moment, we will explore the current range of Yamaha's switches, because there are several different models to choose from. But first, let me remind you that Yamaha has a long experience in networking, entering the router business back in 1995, servicing the Japanese office and home market ever since, with a broad range of devices. As for audio networking, Yamaha unveiled CobraNet products as early as 2002 and introduced Dante modules back in 2010. Ten years on, and Dante is found in a huge variety of audio products, from paging microphones through huge live sound mixing consoles to powered loudspeakers and computer sound cards. Virtually every component in an audio system can be networked together using Dante. And that's where switches play a vital role, keeping the whole audio system connected together. If you have experience with Dante already, then you'll know that small systems may not need any network switch at all. So at what point should you decide to use a network switch? Well, there are various considerations. Many Dante devices can be connected in a daisy chain, but this becomes unpractical and perhaps unwise to extend beyond five or six devices. So, improve the system resilience and eliminate possible audio latency problems by using a switch. Switches also allow a secondary Dante network to be created for redundancy. Some Dante devices have just a single network port, so if you want to connect more than two of them, you need a switch. Some Dante devices require power to be supplied to them through the network connection. Particular switches must be used for that. Power over Ethernet, or PoE, is the terminology. Some Dante devices will have additional network ports for control data. Yamaha mixers, such as TF series, QL and CL series, as well as Rivage PM systems, are good examples. Using a switch will allow all the data to be carried through the same infrastructure to different destinations. Sometimes the distance between two Dante devices will be over 100 meters which is the limit for copper-based network cables. In that case, switches can be used to transmit the data through fiber optic links covering much greater distances, up to 10 kilometers, in fact. So that's five good reasons to use a network switch. Now let's spot the difference in Yamaha's range. We shall start with the smallest and simplest, the SWR2100P. There's a 5G model with 5 gigabit capable ports and a 10G model with 10 1 gigabit ports. The P in the name means these switches can provide PoE, power to connected devices such as microphones, in-out units, control panels and even some powered speakers. So. These switches are ideal for small installed sound systems. They don't require any software configuration, but they do have a few useful dip switches to enhance the system performance. For example, you can disable the EEE function 
that is energy efficient Ethernet. This sounds good and could be an advantage in a regular home or office network, but is not so good for uninterrupted high quality audio. So it should be disabled in Dante networks. Many other unmanaged switches are not suitable for use in Dante networks because of their EEE function. But these SWR2100P models are ideal and are the quickest and easiest of all the switches to deploy. Next, let's move on to the SWR2311P 10G. Like the SWR2100P 10G, it has 10 1 gigabit ports, eight of which can supply power over Ethernet. But there are a number of enhancements. Firstly, it has a stronger power supply, capable of giving 30 watts to each PoE port. So we call it PoE+. Plus. And it can connect to eight powered speakers like the VXL116P columns. As a result, it's the only Yamaha switch here that needs an internal cooling fan. So bear that in mind when finding a place to install it. On the other hand, it does include two SFP modules, that is small form pluggable, which can host gigabit fiber connections. And it's a managed switch using a simple web browser interface. You can program VLANs, trunks, link aggregation, IGMP snooping and querier, access control, and so on. Don't worry if you're not sure what that means. We will explain them all in the coming episodes. Anyway, use this switch when you need more power, more distance, and more sophistication in your network. Now let's consider the rest of the SWR range. That is the SWR2310 switches. These don't provide PoE, so they are all silent in operation, making them suitable for sensitive sonic locations. And they are all intelligent managed switches with the same programming interface and features as the SWR2311P. The SWR2310-10G has almost the same port configuration with eight copper and two SFP ports, where gigabit fiber modules can be inserted for longer distance links. The larger SWR2310-18GT and 28GT have further advantages. Not only more ports for more devices, but the SFP modules are capable of 10 gigabits per second. So they can carry 10 times the amount of data between them than the smaller switches. This makes them suitable for larger Dante systems where hundreds of audio channels need to be carried to various locations. When you wish to run your Dante system at 96 kilohertz, you should consider using 10 gigabit connections between your switches to allow enough headroom in a network's bandwidth. The SWR2310-28GT with its four 10 gig ports is particularly suitable to use as the central hub of your Dante network. So far, all the switches have featured standard RJ45 copper ports and LC fiber connections. An advantage is that they are high density, many ports in a small space. The disadvantage is that they are not designed for mobile use, and many sound systems need to be mobile. That's why Yamaha came up with the SWP series of switches. They are designed to be moved about, plugged and unplugged frequently, and reconfigured often. While the SWR2300 range all include a quick set Dante optimization feature, the SWP range have even more powerful Dante presets. I'll tell you a lot more about how helpful they are in the next video. They're cleverly designed to maximize reliability 
and minimize setup time. See you soon.